Swisher is riding high at the moment after another sensational dancing on ice. The British rapper is now one of the favorites to win the competition after storming to the top of the leaderboard with a record score. After a tricky start to her time on the show, Lisher has bounced back and looks set to stay in the contest for a long time. One thing that may not stop though is people mispronouncing her name. Lisher, who won the 2016 Mobile Award winner for Best Female Act, has been known by the name professionally for the 32-year-old whose parents are from the Caribbean Isle of St. Kitts, was actually born male Shikach. Lisher grew up around music and started coming up with her own songs when she was just six years old. I grew up around music. My mum used to play a lot of reggae like Sister Nancy and Bob Marley around the house so basically, when I was around six, I was messing about and doing my own little raps and songs, she told the independent and my family are all rappers and singers anyway so I was always involved in it. She decided to bring her music to a wider audience by releasing her first mixtape at the age of 14 as well as uploading videos to you. Initially she went by a different name, but decided to completely change which. Speaking on the DJ Smalls YouTube channel in October 2016, she said, I made a song when I was like 16 and I used to be called Lady L but then I made a song called Lady Lisher and I completely changed the spelling of there's no meaning behind it actually it's just the way I pronounced it on the track and it cut so I just stayed with that. The rapper shot to fame with her Queen speech freestyles which were released from 25th but she still gets annoyed with people messing up the pronunciation on whether people still get it wrong, she said, all the time. I've had like Lisher, Leisure. Lasher, I've had everything basically apart from Lasher. It's pretty annoying after the 50th time. It's so simple it's Lasher. Lady Lasher got off to a tough start on Dancing on Ice when she found herself in the skate off after the first win. There was a backlash against the judges with many viewers claiming she was unfairly marked, including celebrity fan judge. But the rapper bounced back and scored the joint highest score of the series so far during musicals week. Lasher admitted she was stunned with the impressive marks and is now being tipped to possibly win the competition. Having recently lost her sister to breast cancer, Mailsha has vowed to push herself while competing on the show. I recently lost my sister to breast cancer and that's really made me think I need to push myself, I need to challenge myself, to get my confidence back, she said before the competition. Doing TV work feels like a breath of fresh air. I did MasterChef and I couldn't cook but I went on it because I wanted to push myself. I think everything is all about learning. I've always wanted to skate. Even though I've been petrified and could never do it with my mates. Lashur, who is partnered with pro skater Brendan Hatfield, said her biggest fear was having her fingers cut off by someone accidentally skating over them. However, revealing she is an adrenaline junkie, she added, I'm one of those people. I jump on stage and I feel off the end. I'm powered by adrenaline. Dancing on Ice airs Sundays on ITV at 6 p.m.